car, Teddy. Caillou has made up a new game. He's rolling his toy cars down a ramp made out of a long board. <laughs> Rosie walks into the room pulling her toy ducky on a string. Can I play? Okay. He turns to his little sister and sees that she is wearing a t-shirt with teddy bears on it. No! That's my t-shirt! Take it off! It's mine! <laughs> Caillou is very upset. <laughs> Mommy comes when she hears the shouting. She tries to explain why Rosie is wearing Caillou's favorite t-shirt. Caillou, that t-shirt is too small for you, so I gave it to Rosie. Caillou is so angry, he is not listening to Mommy. It's not Rosie's, it's mine! Okay, okay. Rosie, let's go put on a different t-shirt. Caillou puts on his teddy bear t-shirt, but it's not easy. He has to wriggle and squirm like a caterpillar. Uh, ow! Oh. <laughs> See, it's not too small. Caillou marches around the room with his bear tummy showing. Rosie thinks <laughs> Caillou looks very funny. Maybe he's playing a new game. She runs up to her brother and tickles his tummy. Caillou knows that the t-shirt used to cover his tummy when he wore it. Caillou stretches out to play with his cars, but his back gets cold and the carpet makes him feel itchy. Caillou goes to his room. He doesn't want to play with the cars anymore. He is too sad to do anything but sit with Teddy. Why did the t-shirt have to get too small? Mommy comes in and sits down beside Caillou. She has a photo album that she opens. Here's a picture of you on your birthday. You look so cute and happy in your teddy bear t-shirt. Caillou looks at the picture and nods. That's when I was little. I had my teddy shirt. Mommy understands why Caillou feels sad. Caillou, I'm sorry I gave your t-shirt to Rosie. I forgot how much you loved it, but now it's yours again. Even if you don't wear it, you can keep it as long as you want. Caillou still loves the t-shirt. It's so soft and cozy, but he knows he has grown too big to wear it. Caillou looks down at Teddy. Suddenly, he knows what to do. I'm going to give it to Teddy! Good idea, Caillou! <laughs> Caillou and Mommy both smile as Caillou takes off his favorite t-shirt and puts it on his teddy bear. Rosie comes into Caillou's room to find Mommy. Look who's wearing the t-shirt! <laughs> Teddy's happy! Me too! Caillou hugs his teddy bear in his teddy bear t-shirt. Caillou and his babysitter are reading a story. But today is a very special day. Caillou, did you know it's Valentine's Day today? This is a day to celebrate love. Mm. Caillou thinks about this for a moment. Celebrate love? That's right, Caillou. Caillou has an idea. Caillou decides to give a Valentine's Day present to someone he loves. I'm going to draw a pretty card with hearts. Aw, that's a nice idea. Julie gives Caillou some paper and crayons. Caillou begins to draw hearts as carefully as he can. But drawing hearts is hard, and Caillou is a bit disappointed with his picture. Oh, it's not 
not very pretty. I can help you if you want. I like your hearts, Caillou. What do you think about adding something else to your picture? Hmm. Caillou wonders what else he could draw. I know! Caillou draws a big round moon. And all around the moon, he draws lots of kisses in lots of different colors. is really pretty, Caillou. Caillou is very pleased with himself. Caillou goes into his bedroom and places the drawing in his room. Who is your Valentine's present for, Caillou? <laughs> it's a secret. <laughs> Caillou puts on his favorite shirt. Then he gets a red tie out of Daddy's drawer. Do I look nice with a tie? You always look nice, Caillou. Caillou is so excited about his Valentine's Day present that he can hardly sit still. When Mommy finally comes home, he rushes to meet her. Mommy is delighted to see her little boy looking so smart. Who's this handsome young man? Close your eyes, Mommy. Mommy shuts her eyes, and Caillou puts the Valentine's Day surprise into her hands. You can open your eyes now. <laughs> Is this for me? I drew a moon because I love you as big as the moon. Oh, and I love you as big as the moon, too. Well, I love you as big as the moon and all the stars and all the planets. Caillou is sure no one could love anyone more than that. Caillou was spending a rainy day at Grandma's. He drove his mini car around the coffee vroom, table. Vroom. Beep, 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 beep. Whoops! Caillou knocked a big book off the table. It fell open on the floor. Caillou was curious about the pictures in the book. He sat down to take a look. I can see you found my photo album. Who's that, Grandma? That's your grandpa and me when we were young. Caillou looked at the photo again. <laughs> That's not you and Grandpa. Oh, this picture was taken a long time ago. Your Grandpa and I used to dance a lot. Caillou turned the page and something fell out of the album. Oh, it's our blue ribbon. The night that picture was taken, there was a big dance contest. And this is the ribbon your Grandpa and I won. Wow, first prize. Do you want me to show you how to dance? Yes, I can win first prize, too. Grandma puts on some music. This was one of our favorite songs. Caillou hadn't heard music like this before, but he liked the quick rhythm. Look, Grandma, I'm dancing. 
Caillou hopped from one foot to the other. That's good, Caillou. Here, take my hands. Caillou loved dancing with Grandma. He was having a lot of fun. All you have to do is listen to the music. Grandma showed Caillou some complicated steps. Caillou tried to follow and stumbled. Caillou jiggled his hips from side to side. I think you just made up a new dance. And for being such a good dancer, you win first prize. Grandma pinned the blue ribbon onto Caillou's shirt. Hi, you two. It looks like someone's been getting dance lessons. Grandma showed me how. Caillou started to dance for Grandpa. That's great! Grandpa took Caillou by the hands and they started to dance together. Grandma watched as her two men danced around the room. Just then the doorbell rang and Caillou ran off to answer it. It's Mommy! Look! I got first prize for dancing! He then showed everyone a little dance he had learned. Everyone gathered in the living room for a snack. Mommy, did you know that Grandma and Grandpa used to dance a lot? And they won a ribbon for first prize for dancing. Really? Yes, and Grandma and Grandpa are really good dancers. Grandma showed me their special dance. Grandpa had an idea, and he put the music on again. May I have this dance, miss? You may, sir. Together they showed everyone the dance that had won them first prize all those years ago. Caillou hurries to put on his fancy clothes. Tonight, he's going out with Mommy and Daddy like a big boy. Rosie is staying home with the babysitter. The restaurant is full of people. Caillou holds his daddy's hand and looks around. It's a bit dark in here. Caillou doesn't see any children. He feels so proud to be with grown-ups. Look at the aquarium, Caillou. Caillou runs off to say hello to the multicolored fish. Whoa. Don't run, Caillou. Wait for us, please. Caillou decides to sit on his knees. Caillou, please sit down like a big boy. Just in time, a friendly waiter comes toward the table with a booster seat for Caillou to sit on. What would you like to eat, Caillou? Let me look, Mommy. Caillou wants to act like a grown-up and opens the menu, too. There are no pictures on his menu, and Caillou is very disappointed. Caillou waits patiently while Mommy orders his favorite spaghetti. Mm -hmm. 
It's taking so long for the food to come. Caillou gets tired of waiting and wants to get up and move around. Where are you going? Caillou doesn't want to sit anymore. Do you want to go to the bathroom? Okay. Caillou finds a new game. He's having fun drying his hands under the automatic dryer. Again! Caillou runs back to the sink to wash his hands again. Okay, but this is the last time. The waiter comes to the table with all the plates balanced in his arms. Caillou is very impressed. Wow! Mommy and Daddy never do that! Caillou takes a bite of his food and makes a face. It doesn't taste like this at home. Caillou, at least eat some of your dinner, please. Yeah! Caillou isn't hungry anymore. He wants to play under the table. Where is my Caillou? Caillou jumps out from under the table. I'm here! Caillou, you're supposed to stay in your seat. I don't want to sit anymore. I want to go home. Just then, the waiter comes to the table with a wonderful dessert. Caillou completely forgets about wanting to go home. Yay! I'm hungry! <laughs> Caillou is happy to be eating at the restaurant with Mommy and Daddy. He really feels like a big boy. Today, Caillou is going to the dentist for the first time. Let's hurry, Caillou. We don't want to be late. Caillou doesn't answer. Where has he gone? Mommy finds Caillou in the bathroom. Caillou, you've already brushed your teeth this morning. Do they look nice, Mommy? <laughs> yes, Caillou. They're beautiful. Now come on, time to go. At the dentist's office, Caillou and Mommy sit in the waiting room. Caillou holds Teddy very tight. Just then, he hears a strange whirring noise. Teddy, you're coming with me to see the dentist, okay? A woman with a friendly smile walks toward Caillou. Hello, Caillou. My name is Linda. Come with me and I'll show you and your Teddy the best way to brush your teeth. Caillou and Mommy follow Linda into a small room. There's a big chair in the middle with a big funny-looking lamp hanging over it. Have a seat, Caillou. Can Teddy sit too? <laughs> of course. Caillou and Teddy sit in the dentist's chair. Linda shows Caillou how the chair can move up and down. <laughs> Linda tilts the back of the chair so that Caillou can lie down. But Caillou stays sitting straight up. Lie back, Caillou. That way, I can get a better look at your teeth. Linda shows Caillou the little mirror that's used to see the teeth in the back of his mouth. She starts the electric toothbrush that turns very fast. That's what was making that strange noise. Now I'm going to make your teeth shine like little stars. Okay. Caillou checks first to see if Mommy is still there. Yes, Mommy is right behind him. Linda brushes Caillou's teeth.
then the dentist comes into the room to give Caillou his checkup. Hi, Caillou. I'm Dr. Joseph. Wow, you have really nice teeth. Do you brush them every day? Two times this morning. <laughs> when Caillou is ready to leave, Linda gives him a new toothbrush to take home. And you can have two surprises from the box. Two? Caillou hmm. examines the items in the box. He chooses a magnifying glass and a ring. The magnifying glass is for me, and the ring is for my mommy. Goodbye, Caillou. Bye. It's been a big day for Caillou. Today, he went to the dentist for the first time. Caillou at the market. Good morning, Sleepy. But Caillou does not want to get out of bed. Look, it's snowing. Caillou runs to look out the window. Wow! Can we make a snowman? Let's get dressed first, then we'll see. Caillou tries to pour his cereal, but nothing comes out. There's no cereal. We'll get some at the market. We have to shop for things to make a special surprise cake. A cake? Yay! Caillou puts on his coat and boots. He picked up Gilbert to see if he'd like to come to the market as well. Gilbert, where are you going? Silly cat. <laughs> Outside, the snowflakes tickle his face. He sticks out his tongue and catches some of them. Can we make a snowman? Yes, Caillou, but we have to go to the market first. When they get to the market, Mommy puts Rosie in the seat of the grocery cart. I want to ride in the cart too, Mommy. Let's go. We have lots of shopping to do. Caillou and Rosie help Mommy find the things she needs. Caillou takes a bag of cookies off the shelf. These are good. We're having special surprise cake. So we don't need cookies, too. Aww. Caillou really wants the cookies, but he puts them back. At the checkout counter, Mommy helps Caillou and Rosie get out of the cart. Caillou, please help watch Rosie for me. Caillou holds Rosie's hand. But he's thinking about the cookies. Mm. He lets go of Rosie's hand to go and find the cookies. Caillou? Caillou goes up and down the aisles looking for the cookies. Suddenly he stops and looks around. He can't see Mommy. Mommy, where are you? Mommy? There she is. Mommy looks worried. What happened, Caillou? You went away. No, you went away. She gives him a big hug. I'm very glad we found you. Let's go home. Mommy, 
I was lost. I know, Caillou, but you're home now, and it's time to make the special surprise cake. But I want to make a snowman. We will make a snowman here in the kitchen. Mommy bakes a cake and covers it in snowy white icing. Hmm. Caillou and Rosie decorate it with candy. The special surprise cake is a special surprise snowman. 